Welcome to Ethanol Producer Magazine's top headlines from the past week. I'm your host, Jill Nelson. The recent freefall in weekly ethanol production volumes seems to be slowing. Ethanol stocks, however, continue to climb. The U.S. Energy Information Administration released data on April 22nd showing that ethanol production fell to an average of 563,000 barrels per day, down approximately 1% when compared to the previous week. Ethanol production has been falling sharply in recent weeks due to decreased liquid fuel demand caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. When compared to the same week of 2019, ethanol production was down approximately 485,000 barrels per day. Get full details in our online story. The American Petroleum Institute has asked the U.S. EPA to revise its 2020 Renewable Fuel Standard Rule in light of the January 24th ruling issued by the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals that directed the agency to change its practices with regard to small refinery exemptions. The API on April 6 sent a letter to EPA Administrator Andrew Wheeler petitioning the agency to reconsider and revise its final rule that set 2020 renewable volume obligations under the RFS and the 2021 RVO for biomass-based diesel. The court's ruling drastically reduces the number of small refineries that are eligible to receive SREs. The 2020 rule, which was finalized before the court issued its ruling, reallocated 2020 RVOs that were, at the time, expected to be approved by the EPA. A legal change related to the Renewable Fuel Standards point of obligation is moving forward. The U.S. Supreme Court is scheduled to consider whether it will review a challenge to the RFS point of obligation on May 15th. Court documents related to the challenge were distributed to the justices on April 22nd. Valero Energy Corp. and the American Fuel and Petrochemical Manufacturers filed a petition with the Supreme Court on December 30, 2019, asking the court to determine whether the U.S. EPA is required to consider petitions to change the point of obligation under the RFS. Ethanol production in Brazil is setting new records. Unica, the Brazilian sugarcane industry association, recently announced mills in the south central region of the country produced a record 33.26 billion liters or 8.79 billion gallons of ethanol during the 2019-20 harvest season, which began April 1, 2019 and ended March 31, 2020. The previous record was set during the 2018-19 season at 30.95 billion liters. Unica said the seasonal volume includes 1.62 billion liters of corn ethanol, which also set a new record. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week with more of the ethanol industry's top stories.